Hi everyone, welcome to the makeup chair. We are back with another video and I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. But as always, I am here to help. So if you need any more advice, any more help, even if it's not related to this video, definitely let me know in the comment section or you can message me on Instagram, which is at Katie. My DMs are open for you guys. With all that said, let's get started with today's video. Starting off with the infallible More Than Concealer Concealer. This has been referred to as a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I have not tried the shape tape, so I can't tell you if there are similarities between the two, but a lot of people have said it is as close as you're gonna get for about half the price. And if you don't know anything about the shape tape, it is basically a full coverage concealer that a lot of kind of bloggers, Instagrammers would use for creating that really full coverage effect underneath the eyes if they're doing a dramatic eye look. I do find that this has medium to full coverage, I think that the shape tape is supposed to have full coverage, but this is medium to full, which I actually prefer because it means you can kind of build on it. It's a matte finish. So if you have very dry skin, you might want to avoid this. And it's available in 25 shades, which is pretty good from the drugstore. And it retails for 15 euro, $13 in and around that mark, which I think is kind of a lot for a drugstore concealer, but apparently it's supposed to be very similar to the high-end ones. And I think it is a pretty good concealer. Next up, we have the Healthy Mix Anti Fatigue Concealer. I love the foundation, and the concealer has just got a little extra coverage. I don't always want full coverage from my concealer. Sometimes I just want a little bit extra. What I like about this is that it's light to medium coverage, so it's very similar to the foundation, and the finish is exactly the same. It's got that satin finish that I love from the foundation. The only thing is it's only available in six shades, which is such a disappointment. I really wish that they would open up their brand a little bit more. Now here is my absolute favorite concealer that I've ever tried from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Eraser Concealer, and this is a concealer or corrector depending on the shade that you get, which I'll explain in a second. So the coverage for this is medium to full coverage, which is freaking incredible from the drugstore, excuse my language, but it is such a good concealer. I love the way it looks on the skin. The finish is a satin finish, which is great because it doesn't look like you've got loads of concealer on, but it gives you the coverage that you'd expect from like a mattifying concealer. And then we have the shades. So it's available in 18 shades, but I put a little star there because this isn't just available in light to dark shades. It's available within different tones. So it's got an olive, mahogany, and bronze, three tones that are very difficult to find in most concealers, even in higher end brands. It's also available in a neutralizer, which is a yellow tone and a brightener, which is a pink tone. So I love the fact that it's not just light to dark, that we have these other tones built in there. My personal favorite is the neutralizer because it's nice yellow tone that really neutralizes the skin and makes a great base for underneath your makeup. And this comes in as one of the cheaper ones from the drugstore at about 10 euro, $9, super easy for beginners. It does have that little sponge tip, which I'm not a big fan of, I tend to take it off. But the great thing is because it's a twist up, you don't lose any product. Hands down, one of my favorites. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up because I really appreciate it. Unless you've already given it a thumbs up and then if you click it again, you'll undo it. So maybe just do it once, just, just that one time. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, 